in the current labor sector, why are companies laying off or mass laying off employees with several years of experience? I mean, someone can call me antiquated or call my perspective on this antiquated because I would really think that if someone were to have a job or a position at a company for several years, that that really puts them at a great advantage and, of, and you know raises them to be of great value for a different type of organization. Because even like how I've talked about with my mom or my dad, you know, because you know they're way older than me and they come from a completely different generation, they're really more from the perspective of advocating for the fact that it'd be really great if someone could, you know, stay with a company for a couple of years and or at least several years. And I mean, I don't really have much to say against that, you know, because when you stay with a company for several years, you know, people can just maybe get to actually know you more as a person and as an individual. And they can actually more understand, you know, where you're coming from or whatever type of value you're trying to add to organization. But now with the current labor sector, that unfortunately seems to be completely opposite from the case. It seems to be completely opposite from the case from the perspective that a lot of people have even been for a company in a long time or very long period of time are just getting let go. And I mean, it's disappointing, you know, it's like, what can someone really, you know, hypothetically speaking, what can an employee who's been with a company for several years, like say to justify their position or their value to a company if they're, you know, if the decision makers and the executives at a company are already trying to make the decision to let someone go. And it's like, there's such, there's been such a cultural shift within the labor sector recently in which people who were at a company for a very long time or have demonstrated a loyalty for several years, it doesn't really end up mattering about what type of, you know, perspective or value or experience an individual brings to a company. You know, the company just pretty much looks at them almost as, as a stranger, unfortunately. And it's very disappointing that it's gotten more to this point from the perspective that people who are trying to at least, you know, trying to have a job or trying to secure some type of position for several years or at least a couple of years, which is more of an extremity, you know, more of an extreme uh, amount of time or length that <clears throat> someone can have for a company aren't even, aren't even able to do this. And I mean, I think in a lot of cases, obviously the individual who's been at a company for several years, they don't necessarily do anything wrong because, you know, when you're working at a company for several years, I think that if the company actually treats or demonstrates respect and tries to treat the person or the individual who's working with a lot of care and love and they actually really are looking out for this individual and you know really wanting the best for his or her career I think that you know it would probably come as a shock to the individual who you know is part of a mass layoff I can even just speak for myself and other types of layoffs or workforce reductions I've been a part in that in that it's disappointing and I haven't even been at those companies for um, you know that long of a period of time and it really just goes to show about when this cultural shift is presumably going to end because a lot of people have been trying to draw our attention to the fact that, oh, you know, these mass layoffs, they won't last forever. And that we just really need to express, you know, a lot of hope uh, that hopefully things could turn around and that individuals who maybe weren't out of work or are not, are not out of work like me, like around two years out of work, you know, maybe we could eventually... Um, you know, like eventually see some type of turnaround and see some type of resurgence or, you know, uh, into, uh, you know, uh, you know, the culture, the workforce culture that was around before in which, you know, individuals and companies, they really had a good rapport in which employees or people who work at a company wouldn't really feel a lot of anxiousness or wouldn't feel very concerned about, with regards to losing their position and that actually everybody could have a secure job and that we wouldn't be seeing mass layoffs every day. And I think that now with the way that things have been going and how everything is, you know, how so much as I've been alluding to in this video and even in several other videos, how the workforce culture and, you know, the overall culture of mass layoffs and, you know, uh, corporate culture, it's been going, you know, I feel like for a lot of industries, it's extremely difficult for people to instill that same or you know that same amount of confidence or a very similar amount of confidence into whatever you know um you know like whatever the state of affairs were in corporate culture and in work culture before because given the fact that even so many big tech companies which 
like Google, it's such a strong company and such an amazing company. And it's really disappointing that either they've had to implement hiring freezes or they've had to implement several other types of changes that even Sundar Pichai, the Google executive and the Google CEO, he's expressed, you know, condolences and wishes that things could have maybe turned out better with regards to structuring and workforce reductions and reorganizations of different types of uh, you know, uh, big tech culture, you know, big tech uh, companies and as well as different types of departments and business units within these companies. You know, I just think that it's going to take a lot of work before things even get remotely back to normal before, you know, even the fact that, you know, people can, you know, not have to be so anxious and nervous, like I mentioned, because even I think that a lot of people who maybe things are going good, so to speak, at their company, they could at least exercise some pessimism or, you know, some type of, you know, uh, maybe disbelief in some of the things that the executives or other types of individuals in the company are saying just out of, you know, you know, out of, you know, ex basically exercising a healthy, a healthy level of uh, skepticism, because I mean, who wouldn't at least be a, at least a little skeptical in this type of uh, economic environment that some company can just turn around that, you know, within the, within the blink of an eye and lay off so many people. And I feel like, you know, it's going to be a while before things could at least get back to normal and get back to more of an aggressive hiring spree, if we want to call it that. Uh, many, you know, uh, labor economists or other types of people who are specializing in recruitment and HR uh, would be able to see, um, you know, uh, you know, given especially this macroeconomic climate.